Hey, good evening. Um, I am excited to do a kind of follow-up video. This is um, Dark Horse Brewing Company's Smells Like a Citra Safety Meeting IPA. Um, it's 8.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, and so I have ordered the look, Smells Like a Safety Meeting um, IPA in the past and did a review of it. And so this um, is the Citra version um, using Citra hops. Uh, and I don't know if this is a single hop situation. Um, hmm. I was stuck watching cat videos a minute ago, so I had to, um, so I didn't even think to look this up. But let me see if I can find out or verify, I suppose, that this is in fact uh, citra, ouch, citra only um, IPA. Because um, I'm also working on, on um, doing single hop um, uh, trying to find single hop um, beers so that way I can kind of work on um, uh, learning how they taste, how each of them, um, how each, um, how each hop style tastes. So, um, so it's supposed to be very danky, um, and um, citra hop turned up version. Um, use a secret blend of hops, blend of hops, and a double dry hopping to evoke some serious Kush-like character. Um, so anyway, um, so uh, I guess it's not a single hop, but citra certainly plays um, uh, a big role. Holy moly. Wow, like can you, yeah, you can see that in this video. In the video, yeah, look at all, look at that um, sediment. That's intense down there. Like there's actually like small mountains of things going on in my beer. Um, yikes. Okay, anyway, so um, let's smell this. Mm, definitely danky, but also um, This one actually almost smells like cat pee. And I've heard people describe that before and I thought, no, I don't know about that. You know, and I've heard weed described as cat pee. Um, but yeah, it's kind of making me paranoid. That's weird. That's weird. I almost don't even know if I can bring myself to drink this. Um, color-wise, it's a, um, a pretty nice amber color. It's definitely hazy, like you saw. It's got mountains of sediment in the bottom. Uh, and here goes nothing. Luckily, oh, hmm. Luckily, it doesn't taste like cat pee. Woo! <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect. Okay, luckily it doesn't taste like cat pee. Um, Sorry, I'm drinking this. Now I'm paranoid about cat pee. I'm drinking this and I'm watching my cat do something weird and I was like, is she gonna pee? Is that what's going on? And that's why I smell cat pee. Anyway, no, it's definitely this beer. That's weird. Okay. The beer is good. It's as weird as it smells. Um, you know, definitely, um, definitely an IPA, it's hop aggressive. It actually has a nice malt backbone to it. It's very juicy um, and um, has good citrus character going on. Um, grapefruit, um, a little bit. I always taste pineapple. It makes me think of dried pineapple. Um, and, you know, and um, definitely very drying on my tongue. Um, good beer, good beer. Weird. It was a weird experience, both in the in terms of um, how much sediment is in the bottom. I mean, this rivals what pours out of my home brews. Um, 
but, um, you know, okay. Um, and the smell was a little off-putting, very danky. But, again, the description really talks about dank, and about weed, and about the fact, wow, there's so much sediment in there. Like, you can, no, you can't see. Wow. Wow. Um, anyway, so I suggest if you watch this video before you get your hands on some and drink it, um, pour slow at the end. You don't really want to pour that off. Um, and um, other than that, great beer. Dark Horse puts out some really great stuff. Um, and, um, you know, the artwork is funny because w what the heck? Um, it reminds me of this pencil sharpener I have that looks like a nose and you stick the pencil in the nostril and you sharpen it. Um, you know, but this is weird. Anyway, so the combination of those things, um, you know, make this a really good, interesting beer. So I recommend that if you see it, try it if you're an IPA lover. Um, or a, um, you know, drink all the beers in the world beer drinker. Uh, as I am myself. Um, so there you go. If this is a beer that you've tried, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Share with me, um, leave a comment, and thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.